This is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to create the uh, how to configure the Selenium uh, in IntelliJ IDEA, or we can say that how to create a Selenium project within Java. So this is we are going to learn. So what we have to do, guys? Uh, first of all, I have to open the IntelliJ IDEA, and then I have to click on the file options, and then I have to create a new project. Once I created a new project over here, you can see this pop-up is coming up over here. Here I'm just giving up the name like Selenium project uh, selenium new project this name basically i'm just giving up selenium new project with uh, java this is name i'm just giving up guys please make a note of this point language you have to select java and build system you have to select as it is IntelliJ idea who you have to select now whatever java basically you install that java picked up here automatically if you know how to install the java you can watch my previous videos guys so this is how things we have to do and you have to simple click on the create button once you click on the create button, I'm just opening this, you know, this uh, uh, project over here. This is my Java project simply created over here. Now we want to configure the Selenium in this project. So what we have to do, guys, if you want to configure the Selenium in this project, simple. What we have to do, we have to go to the official website of the Selenium. So what is an official website of the Selenium? Selenium dot dev. This is an official website of the Selenium. Now when this is done, what we have to do, we have to simple click on the download button. Once we click on the download button, we have to click on the Java versions. This is very, very important. You don't need to choose this other version. You have to select only this version. So you have to click over here. And you can see my file is automatically downloaded over here. Once my file is automatically downloaded over here, you have to go to the download folders. Probably your files is going to download in this download folder. You can see this is file is downloaded. Now what we have to do, we have to extract this file. Please make a note of this one. This is special recommendations to everyone. Don't use the WinRAR for an extraction. Use the uh, either 7-zip or normal Windows extractor is also fine. So here I'm just using the normal Windows extractor and simply I'm click on this extract all here. And once it's done, you can see my file is going to extract over here. You can see my, uh, what I mean to say guys, my uh, Selenium Java 2.24 version is going to extract with extracted over here. So it is going to extract soon. Now let's wait for a couple of seconds. And finally, our extraction is complete. Now you can see if I'm going to open, this is the all files do we have. Now when this is done, what is the next thing we have? What is the next actionable item we have? Again, we have to open our repository. Again, we have to click on the file option and we have to click on what is project structure. Where we have to click project structure, we have to click. Once we click on the project structure, we have to click on where guys we have to click on the this this module option where we have to click this module options we have to please please make sure that you are going to select the dependencies by default you are going to select the source but you have to click on this dependencies option once you click on the dependencies option again you have to click on this plus symbol now once you click on the plus symbol now we want to add those dependencies which you recently downloaded and extracted those Selenium dependencies, Selenium web driver dependencies we have to add. So for that you have to click on the plus symbol and you can see we have option jar or dependencies. Once you click on the jar or dependencies, you can see guys now you have to navigate where we have to navigate the download folder. So where is the download folder? We have to like, like we have to navigate the C drive, then users, probably whatever name we'll have and probably we'll have this download options we'll have. And once this is done, probably Selenium should be here. Let me quickly, you, you can see guys, Selenium 4.24, this is a version we have. Once I navigate this version, you can see all files will have. Now what we have to do, you have to press the shift button. Now if we want to add the all files here. So how to select the all files, you have to press shift button and down arrow button we have to use and you can see you have to select the all files. You can see this is how we have to select the all files here. And once I'm selecting the all files, just click on the OK button. And you can see guys, your files are going to added over here in the project. When this is and what exactly we have to do guys, we have to click on the apply and you have to click on the OK. Now your project is configured with Selenium. Now your project is configured with Selenium. Now how we can write down the Selenium script. So for, for what we have to do is simple, this is a uh, this is a class we have, let me create the another class which is named as an basics of, uh, basic of Selenium. Selenium. This is what guys uh, class I'm just creating. Once this is done, let me define a main method over here. Okay. Now once I define the main method, now what exactly we have to do, guys? I have to now I have to make sure that 
my selenium libraries are properly added or not or is my selenium project or not you can make sure that as well like you can navigate these external libraries and where you can see the all selenium files you can see these are the all selenium files we have now what is the next actionable item guys we have we must need to create an instance of this selenium web driver how to create web driver driver web driver driver is equal to new suppose i want to run my test case on the chrome driver so chrome driver class i'm just using over here then i'm just using driver dot get method i'm going to use get method mainly used for open the url so ht in double quote http okay uh, double forward slash sorry colon okay http okay double forward slash www dot uh, amazon dot in okay this is a website basically i'm just opening guys over here please make a note of this point okay or let me quickly open the or anyways uh, i'm going to open this selenium dot day websites okay instead of amazon dot in let me open this website over here once this is done let me add this in double quote once we are done with this thing then i'm going to maximize this browser how to maximize driver dot manage dot windows dot maximize this is once this is done once i'm done with this thing i have to simple close the browser so my browser is going to automatically open over here and it is going to maximize automatically and it is going to close over here this is basic simple script i'm just writing down now guys here you can see you don't need to define and uh, Chrome driver path over here because since Selenium version, Selenium web driver version 4.10, uh, web driver manager is integrated over here, and now we don't need to set those things. You can watch this kind of videos, related videos, like previous videos I just published. You can watch my old videos as well. And you can see if I'm going to run my program now, my web driver should run, my Chrome browser should open here. Selenium dot dev website should be open. My uh, website should be my automatically and my browser should close automatically here as well so this is what my basic expectations i have so you can see and this is how it is automatically closed okay this is what exactly i want to tell you guys this is the basic uh, thing basically this is how basically we can create the selenium projects okay thanks for watching guys that that's it for today